Welcome to Connie's Reboot Your Health show. My name is Connie Dura. I'm your show host. And my topic today is get in shape with boring food. Don't turn off the video yet. Don't turn off YouTube yet. The thing is, if you have all these thoughts about food, everybody's on a diet now, you know, it's the beginning of the year. You eat all this exciting food, you go always in restaurants, new stuff is coming out, new tastes are coming to this country. So you have always very exciting tastes to try. The more new things to try, the more you eat, especially if you like them. And then there's the problem with these huge plates, you want to eat the whole plate. There is the problem, exciting new food, new tastes. You love all that, so you take in much too much calories. Now, my personal, it's really my personal thing how I deal with this, is I allow myself to go out once a week to eat whatever I like and how much I like. And it could be a big plate or a small plate and whatever food I like. I like Indian, for example. I love Indian food too. Uh, very heavy, very heavy sauces. Love them. Love also my chocolate. So once a day, uh, once a day a week, you are allowed to do that. But on five to six days, you should think about eating more or less always the same, or well, very similar food, very similar food. Because then you think, oh my God, today dinner, what do we have at home? Okay, we have maybe a tuna, tuna fish with a whole grain bread, not too exciting. That is true, it is not exciting, but you will not eat that much. You will eat so you're not hungry, and that's the target. You should not be hungry. You want to give your body nutritious food, so it has everything, the proteins, a little bit of carbs, and also fat, what you need, unsaturated fat, with olive oil and all that, you can eat, but you will not eat that huge portions because it's not that exciting. I also love to combine cottage cheese. You can put on raw onions if you like. And I like it with whole grain bread. Love it. Just love it. I had that sometimes just for lunch, like two, three pieces of whole grain bread, two, three slices with cottage cheese and raw onions. Love that food. I can eat that easily three times a week without having any problems. But again, you need to think about it. You have to Focus on the nutrition of the food, of that you have nutritious food, a lot of fruits and vegetables. And that you add to your diet, it's re again, relatively boring. But you will not eat that much. That's the first secret. The second secret, that's even easier. I got that from my doctor in Germany when I was um, 22 years old. How to stay in my bodybuilding shape at that time without suffering. <laughs> And because I was always hungry from all that exercise. So he told me that it's a very easy thing. You don't, you should not always count the points or being on diets and all that. You should, it portion control. Portion control, that's the main part of your, uh, um, of uh, not eating too much too. So you have your hand, you put it on the plate and whatever your hand can cover, that's your one portion. So you eat five portions a day, probably, or four. What your hand can cover, that's the portion. You go out and watch, when you put your hand above, watch how big your portions are. Probably there's coming another portion from that meal out for you for dinner. So five times maximum, your hand on the food, that's what you should eat. Very, very important. So you have the boring point, you have the portion control with your hand, and these two in combination should really help you to lose weight. You will be surprised how small your hands are when you start eating. It's really amazing, it's amazing. And you, your pounds will just go away, you will melt away, you will see. Also, I wanted to add something we learned um, two weeks ago that if somebody is borderline obese, we heard that all over the news, when somebody's borderline obese, that then it's called excellent health. I wanna tell you something. It is not excellent health. When you need today to take um, uh, pills against blood pressure, 
cholesterol pills and you are very heavy overweight borderline obese this combination makes you not extremely healthy and absolutely not and then I'm asking myself I don't take any drugs I work out five days a week and you maybe work out two or three times a week you don't take any pills I don't take any pills I'm perfectly healthy I don't even take multivitamins because I eat all my fruits and vegetables what I need every day so I don't take anything so if being borderline obese make this person in excellent health what am I then what is the add-on on excellent I would love to hear that because that's what I am and that's what you are working on with me on this show at home wherever you are listening reboot your health today today is the day to start using your hands for the food portion and start eating a little bit boring See you next time.